Hey guys, it's Amanda, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these Tumblr American Apparel inspired grid nails. And you guys have been requesting these non-stop ever since I posted it on my Instagram, so I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do them yourselves. So here's what you'll need for the tutorial. To protect your nails and make your manicure last longer, add a base coat to all of your nails. Then I went in with a white nail polish and painted all of my nails white. It doesn't have to be perfect for what we're doing, but just make sure you have an opaque layer. Once your nails are dry, and make sure that they are completely dry because it's really important that they are, you can go in with some striping tape. I found my striping tape at shopmissay.com, but you can find them anywhere on eBay and Amazon, and they're like less than a dollar, so they're super affordable. Plus, they make nail art just a lot easier, so all you have to do is cut out some pieces of striping tape and place them on your nail in the formation of a grid. I found that two vertical stripes and three horizontal stripes look the best on my nail shape, so that's what I did on all of my nails. And once you have all of your striping tape down, make sure to pat it down really nice so that you don't have any bubbles. Next, you can go in with whatever color you would like. I chose to do black because that's sort of the iconic American Apparel color scheme. So I just used the black nail polish and painted on top of the striping tape. Make sure you do this very carefully because if you do this too fast or too harsh, you could move the tape. As soon as you're finished painting your nails, take off the tape because you don't want to let it dry. And yeah, I just think this looks so great. And the striping tape just makes it a lot easier and cleaner than just doing it with a striping brush. So you can choose to use this design however you want. You can do it on some of your nails or you can do it on all of your nails like I've done. And of course, once I'm done doing the designs, I finish it off with a top coat to smooth out any weird lumps and give it a nice shine. I also like to do this design with a matte top coat, which looks really awesome and it just gives you a different look. So you can definitely switch it up depending on what you would like. From your lips, you just took a that I want to skinny deep. Next, I'm actually going to show you guys another method of doing the design, but this is actually for the reverse color scheme. So if you want a lighter background with darker stripes, that way you don't need to paint a darker nail polish on top of a lighter one, which can be hard to make it opaque. So just like the first method, you're going to start off with a white base or the lighter color. And once it's completely dry, you're going to go in with the striping tape again. And just like before, I did two vertical stripes and three horizontal stripes. This time, instead of painting over the striping tape, I'm actually going to use little nail scissors to cut the striping tape to the shape of my nail. And to finish it off, of course, you're going to use a top coat. And for this method, make sure you use a lot of top coat because essentially these are stickers, so you don't want your nail stickers to move or come off. Just make sure you get the corners and edges of your nails because that is where the ends of the striping tape are, so it's more likely to come off from there. But yeah, that's it. That's how you get perfectly Tumblr American Apparel inspired grid nails. This design is definitely my all-time favorite way to paint my nails. I always get tons of compliments on them. And if you do recreate these, make sure to send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram. My username is just Amanda Rach Lee. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe for more because I have a ton more fun videos to come. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!